Hey everyone. Oh, I don't got my watch. I'm making coffee because I am extremely late. <laughs> I have, oh my God, I have to wear my watch. Let me go get my watch. <laughs> All right, we're good to go. Okay, so as my coffee is being made, I'm about to jump. That might actually be really loud. Actually, let's make some coffee and let me take you on this experience. dropped the whipped cream i'm so late guys i have to so i'm going on a um live session with my f my f my group coaching program party like ceo mm. coffee is so good and we are going to be discussing some ways to rebrand they're getting back to my clients so they're asking for help when it comes down to getting like high-end clientele and like what's the difference between luxury versus you know whatever uh, maybe i'll bring you in a little bit so let's let's see hey everyone <laughs> okay so i am currently live so i'm gonna be recording myself um and this is not gonna be on all right we are doing a lot all at once so let me make sure everyone is live somebody remind me that i'm recording <laughs> Okay, last time my camera fell on me. All right, so what I want you to understand before we get started when it comes to attracting dream clients is, and I apologize because I'm looking at my notes on the other side, is like you really have to identify who your dream client is, right? Even with the rebrand. So at this point in time when it comes to versus where I first started versus where I want to go with the luxury brand high end you know I'm speaking now to a different clientele and these are the things that you want to make sure you establish when it comes to identifying your dream client so in lesson 2.0 in module 2 the dream client profile lesson I would revisit I would rewatch it um, and I would redo the entire um, profile again for your new clients of who you want to attract will this be safe I may not be able to take notes right now it'll be in the Facebook group um, Amber I might make a, a, a lesson um, that has like slideshows and everything so it will be saved in the Facebook group and then it will be um, I'll try and do a new I'm working on module 5 first so this will be like an added bonus later on so I got you <laughs> um, so if you're not able to take notes, yes, you can watch it later. That's a great question. So again, ask questions as we go along so that way I can address it right then and there. This is why this lot is live versus like me just doing um, a session. So your dream client is now changing um, to match your rebrand, right? Who you served with your brand now is not who you're going to serve later on. Hey, Jennifer. <laughs> so glad you guys are here. Um, so you want to make sure, and again, this is going to be safe. So just make sure if anybody else jumps on later, if you could guys just let them know as well. So dream clients are not are the people who, again, who have the, who are willing to pay your prices, who don't question your worth, who are really just diving into wanting to book with you regardless of the price, right? They may be hesitant or resistant at first, but they really do see the value. That's a dream client no matter who you're attracting but you want to be clear who you want to work with when it comes to the rebrand okay so you want to make sure you identify like okay it's a different clientele versus when I first started who is now my new audience okay you are the type of client you attract and I want to make sure you guys understand that when it comes down to attracting clients to your your event business I went live on Instagram and I actually told that to you know my followers is like 
whoever you are is who you attract one way or another whether you like it or not there's something about that person that attracts you or the way you're doing your business that attracts them right that's why teslas attract certain clientele that's why walmart attracts certain clientele you have to understand you are the type of client that you want to attract so if you want to attract a different type of client right on the luxury end then you really have to understand who are you when it comes down to the business and serving those people hey natalie that's uh, jennifer says sorry that's not a wave it's oh it's a wave of not a question <laughs> you always make me laugh <laughs> thank you hey okay um so i i whew. all right i'm tired i haven't eaten and it is 240 still so i've been i gotta get better at eating what are my thoughts today? Today is uh, an exhausting day. I need to get something to eat. Uh, I hate this. I hate making a decision about eating. It's the one thing. All right. Anyways, I got off. Oh, oh yeah. I got off the um, the rebranding session, the live session that I was on Facebook. So Zoom failed me because I don't have space on my computer. So last night when I was up. Oh, I have to upload my video. I'm not done. We talked a lot about expanding and scaling your business as you guys saw. I talked about upscaling your business, rebranding, changing the direction of where you're going. And then oh, I have to call my sister. She called me. And then I was on my one-on-one -on -one call with my designer. <laughs> oh my, I'm tired. Uh, then I'm going to... What am I going to do? Upload the video. Call my sister back. And then what else am I going to do? Oh, I have a celebration call with one of my designers in Party Like CEO. Her name is Linda. You guys are going to be hearing her story very soon. So I have that scheduled for 5 p.m. tonight. So tomorrow, we're going to do a lot of resting. And this is why I love being a CEO. It's a full day today. I'm really, really busy for i don't know i i booked the live session not looking at my calendar and then i completely forgot it's my one-on-one -on -one day with my designer and then um when it comes down to the celebration call i should have booked it for thursday but we both were available wednesday so three technically calls a lot of energy being taken from justine right but we making it this is a great content piece let's see can i do both at the same time all right let's watch it can you watch it let's maybe not put it in front of the window so this cool technique right i took a video of the park entrance it was pretty dope then i always give up inspirational quote i need to get some food in my system and call my sister back and then prepare for my five o'clock i think i might just chill until then because i already have all the questions i have to look somewhat presentable i'll i'll give you guys a little clip of behind the scenes with me and linda and then we'll go from there so this is another journey another way to live life so i'm gonna tell my future self justine i'm proud of you you did it awesome right it's just it's just being vulnerable it's so hard why is it so hard to be vulnerable oh hello knocked out oh you call me back later the baby was sleeping. <laughs> Time to eat. Okay, house is a mess, but we here with it. Now, on to my last call with one of my designers. Her name is Linda. <sighs> Let me put you guys right here. Put you guys like you're a person. <laughs> Let me raise this just a little log on now pray for me that i'm able to get zoom going i'm so tired oh my goodness we are not in focus oh lord now we go all right let's bring this up just a tad okay so i'm getting ready now log on to zoom actually like this getting ready to speak with Linda 
she actually has some crazy results she when she first found me she was only charging like a few hundred dollars so she's here now so i'm about to go but um she ended up booking like a four thousand dollar month i hope she tells me this but we shall see let me let her in actually let me record this on the cloud recording in progress mute myself i am just watching your instagram that you just posted oh <laughs> Thank you. How are I can't see you. You gotta turn your video on. Let me see. Let me. Awesome. Oh, <laughs> she look glamorous. Look at you. <laughs> My husband says, Is that what you're all dressed up for? I go, I'm not a t shirt. <laughs> right. It's not that glamorous. Wow. All right. Let me, <laughs> let me um pause this and then we can then start once we're ready. Recording stopped. Um, so you saw my story. All right. Let me make myself bigger too. So how did it go? It went well. Better than I thought. <laughs> it's um, better. Um, 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 I hope. <laughs> people are going to hear your story. They're going to love you. <laughs> I love them. I love people that are watching. So, hey, thank you if you follow me. I appreciate it so much. Thank Yay. you. All right. Let me. Family has had to tell me, you know, you come off pretty aggressive sometimes. <laughs> But um, I'm glad it like resonated with you. I will say this is that when I asked myself, what are you willing to give up in exchange for what you want? It made all the difference in every decision that I made from here on out in my business. So I'm glad you're going full throttle. I own, I know you're going to be successful and I really can't wait to see it unfold. So I'm here if you need me. That was one of my designers i had to send her a voice memo because this is like really bright but i don't know if you guys can hear these loud kids downstairs <laughs> they're so loud um but i miss it i miss it as a teacher so i had to send her a voice memo because i answer a lot of her questions in the live session and i wanted to just share that experience with you but all right so i just got done interviewing with linda and we are feeling good oh, her story is so good um i don't know when this will come out where's my business phone i wanted to i don't know where my business phone is but i do tend to focus more on my coaching business because this is like a passion project so it's hard for me to like give more time to my balloon business but i really should probably tomorrow i have to go help my sister or watch my nephews real quick but then after she comes back or maybe i'll go in the morning and just sit in the environment where my dream clients are and kind of get a feel of what it's like it's a little nerve-wracking because i didn't grow up with luxury like, i've been in very rich homes i have friends who've had a lot of money growing up in high school but it's different when you go to ask for money from them in the sense of exchanging your services for their for their dollars so <sighs> what's going on what's crazy i think i said it i hit an upper limit in the sense of like all of a sudden i have no space on my desktop so now my husband is going to help me get four terabytes um which is like crazy because i got two hard drives that have one terabyte if you don't know what i'm talking about just know it's really big space to hold all the videos that i'm taking like this so i can upload it edit it and then put it on youtube so he was like well why don't you just delete some of the clips i'm like you're asking me to delete memories we can't do that <laughs> we can't just delete memories like look at the little setup i got going on here okay who is becoming a plant lady me <laughs> i was looking at plants at home depot yesterday they have a snake plant i want to get in our room supposedly snake plants help de detox detoxify the air like they i mean any plant does like they absorb the carbon dioxide that's in the room but i think this really helps like it really it's like it does even more so i'm gonna get a snake plant for our bedroom and then i want to get like a banana plant banana leaf plant i don't know what they're called but i I'm, I'm gonna do some research on plants um they're very an energy exchange for me i never thought i would be this way but look at my money plant because the money's coming <laughs> we went curly girl my sister's like you dyed your hair again i was like no girl it's just curls 
All right. Oh, I gotta share my work. I gotta share my work. I gotta share this. All right. So let's have a real conversation before I hit that end button. So whenever you're about to transition or you're going stepping into a new version of yourself, your yourself starts to fight yourself, right? Be careful what you fear because it will come back and bite you, right? So it was a long day. We worked hard today. My husband's asking me what we eating. So I'm hungry, I'm tired, I'm ready to relax. Figure out. Hopefully he brought me my hard drive. I think he forgot. I just think he did. Um, but we'll find out. So I know I wanted to share something with you guys. So I bought. Oh, we just jamming outside. Um, side note. Look at Cre what Crayola did. I was looking for um, crayons to do like the nude colors. There are colors of the world, 24, and then, so it has a nude palette, and they give you all the names and stuff. I thought that was so cute. I was like, oh my god, they have Deepest Almond. The one thing I will say is that balloons make me very feel very insecure sometimes, and sometimes I don't even want to be bothered. All right, how can we just relax? I don't know if you guys can hear these kids. They're like really like, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> But I think the reason why I love teaching is because that's my true passion. I've mastered it already. I've been teaching technically for eight years now, if we count coaching. And it's something that, that's why it's easy for people to learn from me, right? But balloon business, technically it's only been two years. So in Party Like a CEO, my group coaching, we talk about pricing. So I'm basically in module two. So there's five modules. Um, there's um, one for mindset, CEO mindset that you always do. Two is pricing. Three is the onboarding and sales techniques. Uh, four is marketing. Uh, and then five is scaling, like onboarding a client, a team member, official team member. So I'm jumping all over the place because I already know the knowledge. So what a struggle. What a struggle it's been. Be vulnerable in front of you guys and then literally show you like, I'm not, don't look at the pretty pictures and the, this is just how I feel. This is my journey. So that is all. It's my day in, day in and day out. I'm thirsty. I'm hungry. And I'm tired. So tomorrow is going to be a less, it's going to be a slower day and just kind of submerge myself, go to a coffee shop. Once I learn how to do these mock setups on Canva, I'm definitely going to be teaching in Design Tree Society. So if you haven't thought about joining, you should join. All right. Let's call it a night.